Ok, so after you installed the script, you can run it by going to actions list and searching for uh, layers and it's going to show Daniel Lumert's layers, you can run it. Uh, layers is the simplest script from the tree and I think it's the, the one that works best. Uh, <coughs> So the first thing I recommend is going to settings and clicking show to tips if you are new so you can see each button on each uh, widget what it do. Um, so basically what does layers? Layers will insert uh, one FX in each track and will uh, adjust the volume or filter MIDI to it. So when you select some tracks and click add track to the script, it will add an, an FX. And basically what these FX do is filter MIDI and change the volume. Uh, and here you can open the curve editor. So if we do opposite and here we change the parameter. So now, if I play from here, I am only hearing the first track. And now I am hearing the second track. You can do things like this. It works in MIDI and it also works in audio. Now we're gonna demonstrate in MIDI. So here uh, I have one group track with one instrument, uh, harp. And down here we have two tracks that send MIDI to this track. So we what you we want is to filter just to send from one of these tracks so I'm gonna select both I will add a new parameter I will call it uh, harp and add these tracks so basically in MIDI uh, if it is set at zero like here it won't pass MIDI if it's set to anything else it will just pass through uh, there is another option you can turn on that will scale the MIDI velocity but by default is turned off if you want to turn on right click it uh, FX MIDI options and turn on uh, scale MIDI velocity you need to do this per track okay so let's say that from here to here we want to track on the track below uh, from here we want the track above okay so now if I play You can also add a slope so the velocity of the change will be smoother. So if for that you right click the parameter and you can click slope up uh, let's say 5 seconds and slope down 10 seconds. This means uh, from 0 to 1 it will uh, take 5 seconds to go up and from 1 to 0 it will take 10 seconds. So I go up you can see here the true value and down it's much slower you can also add a slope per uh, target that will be added um, 
on top of the parameter slope so you can see this is even slower to and to change a parameter you can go of course with the mouse like that but you can also right click it and click midi learn and then you will uh, use a midi controller uh, for example here i am using my keyboard uh, here you have more options you can remove only from this device so all the midi devices that send a cc1 channel 1 will be controlling it you can remove the channel so all, cha all cc1s will be controlling this okay and here you remove all uh, you can also use an envelope from inside he reaper to control the parameter so you can create uh, like a, a one fake track or use a one track and just select some parameter like pen here uh, then right click here and get selected envelope and now it will use this par uh, this envelope to control this so if you do something like this all this <laughs> will be changing the parameter uh, let me turn this slope off uh, this envelope not only needs to be uh, not only can be a, from a track but it can also be from one item let me remove this envelope so you can create like a item here create an envelope inside it select the envelope and click and get select envelope now if I change something like this it will follow the volume um, which is useful if you want to do some uh, move it around Another feature that is important is that you can bypass the effect in each track. You can go uh, right click, click a track and bypass effect. And you can do also per project. You can go in settings, script project settings and bypass. It will bypass all. And another really important feature is at exit remove effects. When this is turned on, you close the script, it will remove everything. And when you turn on, it will uh, put everything back. Uh, by default, it's turned off. So when you close the script, it will keep uh, the layer effect with the same uh, gain you had. And of course, it will only be updated when you uh, open the script again but you now can close and the effect will be kept and this is the layers script in the next video we're going to see alternator